What is up guys, it's me Trey Kent here on YouTube and I am here today to do Life is Strange, episode 4, part number 2. Let's do this. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Everybody knows Mr. Jefferson and the principal. And these guys playing football. Well, catch as always. Who the hell is that guy? Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Hmm. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Come on, get out the way. Justin, it's been so long since we've seen you. No need to go there now. Oh. Blackwell. Insane. So I hear. Can you word it all on Rachel? Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. And I miss her laugh. When I bail off uh, my board. Fuck. She was probably high. Yeah. Alright, so. Screw that. to the floor in. But I can't. I hope Max oh, isn't pissed that Warren asked me. Hey, bro. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Wait, what? Jerome? Fuck it. Wait. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant caved and let me fly her again. So take a spin. I have to see what time I'm going to the drive-in with Warren on Saturday. Oh, uh, he asked you to go to the drive-in with him? Well, uh, that's cool. 
I love the drive-in in Newburgh. So old school, but so much fun. Like Warren. Hmm. Well, I am not touching the drone. I am not controlling it. It is doing it on its own, so. Hmm. Looks cool. Thanks. Alright, now let's get back to Chloe, I guess. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Let me know when you found something. No reason to go now. Fuck. God damn it. Ah. Nope, I don't want to go there. What the fuck? Seems like something's missing. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week, I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. He deserved it. And more. Samuel tries not to judge people. But Nathan shouldn't be here. Maybe he's supposed to be here, though. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. He wishes he could. Mr. Madsen has all the surveillance in the world, but he's still blind. I think you have better vision than both of us. No, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. Uh, I'm sorry. I better get going now. Too much talking. Now, who can I ask? Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents, for now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up. 
but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. So why doesn't Principal Wells stop the party? To be honest, he doesn't seem to care about what's going on here. Raymond Wells has saved this school from financial disaster, and he cares more than you'll know. You're wise, but don't be so quick to judge everybody. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. There must be a scientific explanation, right? When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. So... You don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end of the world posters. Unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? Like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I was looking for Nathan Prescott and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus after what happened this week. I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you you might be the wisest. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. About damn time. Shit. Took you long enough. coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room.
Okay. Where is his room? Ugh, skunkweed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. This can only be Nathan's room. Oh, it's right there. It's right here, man. It only took me a minute and a few seconds. Oh, okay. It's locked. Oh, she's gonna use that? Okay, that's smart. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Oh, Kate sent me a text. I bet... I'll read it now. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Now I remember why I hate you, and why Kate will get justice. Fake ass YouTube. Oh man, Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Holy shit, that's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... These films all have a dark pattern. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. You need to go take it back? That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. That is so Chloe. Oh my God. Chloe. <gasps> That 
monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Looks like they gotta move the couch. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. Oh. Uh oh, Lauren. Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. Damn. <gasps> you are so fucking dead. Uh. Get off me, bro. Uh. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I gotta stay out of it. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Motherfucker! <laughs> Get off me! Please. Like a bitch. <laughs> Please stop! He's down. Hey, come on. Stop. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, we have to go. Who's the bitch now? Chloe. Damn, Lauren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was He got knocked the fuck out. Damn. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting.
I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard, now was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Huh. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank. We're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? What the fuck? Just the names <laughs> of some of your clients. <laughs> oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but... This is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog is... And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Hmm. Dog rescue or gay dog a bone? Hmm. Chloe and I gave your doggy a bone, when we? So you're the ones who let him out? You broke in here and let my dog out? 
What the fuck? Oh, well. Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. Understand? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late! She's gone! You don't even know her! Like you did? I loved her, asshole! And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit! You were part of her problem! Always trying to take her away from me! Always! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do! Get it, bitch! Get it! Step the fuck back now! <laughs> Pompidou! You fucking killed my dog! Damn. Well, he's dead. Oh no! Chloe... I just shot a man... and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know. But we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm gonna rewind this. Come on. Listen, Chloe, I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you'd be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuses to go ballistic. We need his help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total yeah. fuck-up. Occasionally, I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard, now was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. 
No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you... Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. I don't know. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. I don't don't know. fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So, what do you want? Just the names of. Oh, is that all? Oh! Okay. Listen, Frank, uh -huh. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't a... Right, okay. Both of you are... Frank, we didn't come here... Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to... I... Fine. I... Dude, she was... We're only... Shit. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? You and Chloe do... Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together, we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is episode four, part number two. We'll be right back. Part number three. See you guys later.